Good morning everyone, welcome back, it's Belinda here. I am back working in Woodland Notes Journal. This is a design team project for Rach and Bella Crafts. I am using Woodland Wanderings and Forest Threads, are the two digital kits from Rach and Bella Crafts that I'm using in this journal. So I have a specific project I want to do today for this journal and then if we've got time we might move on and do some other bits and pieces. I have got some post-it notes kind of sprinkled throughout with what I want to put on sp specific pages. Oh, please excuse me. Puss has decided to join us. Come on, Puss. Yes, I know. It's not appropriate. Come on. I can't grab you where you are. <laughs> Come here. Please excuse me for a moment. This is my old boy, Puss. He's 15. And he just leapt across onto my desk like he was a five-year-old, not a 15-year-old. He wants food, but I've literally only fed him an hour ago. So, anyway, let's get on. So, I was talking. I've got various bits that I want to put in this journal. I have made some progress since you last saw it. Um, I've put some lace on some of the pages. Because I just, you know, I just think adding lace to a journal regardless of the the theme um, just adds texture and prettiness and I just had to so anyway what I want to do today is one of the post-its right in the back here we have this belly band on the back cover and I want to do a writing board to go in there so I thought I would use this cover from an old um, basically ledger book it's, you know, it's not super thick, but it is nice and sturdy. But I need to work out what size I need to fit in here. So we're going to go about there. And about there. So just kind of keeping my eyes locked on that point. Seven and a half inches. Let me just write that down. So seven and a half inches tall. We can trim a little bit off if it ends up a slightly too tall. And our page is a five and a half. I think we'll go five and a half. Five and a half inches. Uh, please excuse me if you don't work in inches. Um, I find it easier, particularly for something like this. But you'll match your measurements to what you're working with so it's your choice whether you work in inches or centimeters because you'll be measuring your own journal to make one of these so probably going to be different to what i'm working with or possibly so let's mark that off so five and a do i want to go five and a half that way what are we doing seven and a half there's a bit of a crease there, so I'm going to choose the smaller measure measurement across here. I think I'm going to use a pen, just because my pencil needs sharpening. Um, yeah, to avoid that crease, so that we're not putting that into our writing board. And if you're not sure what a writing board is, a writing board is a stiffer piece like a board. Um, that you put in between the pages to soften out some of the lumps and bumps, make it just a little bit easier to write on the pages of the journal. So that's what a writing board is. Now I'm just going to, hopefully this is going to all match up straight. Not quite. So there. I'm very quiet, haven't I? Concentrating. Right, I'm just going to take the easy way. I could do it with a craft knife, but I'm going to use my scissors. And I think, just to make life a little easier, we'll just start by doing that. And then I haven't got the, you know, the floppy bit that I'm fighting while I cut this piece out.
So the writing board can be whatever size you like. You can make it the so same size as a page in the journal. It can be smaller because you can just move it up and down or sideways to write. Um, I think approximately the size of a page is useful, just depending on where you're popping it in the journal, whether it's a pocket or a belly band or whatever. Uh, so I'm using a belly band, which means that we're losing a bit of the height from the glue at the top and the bottom. Whereas if you use a pocket, you just lose height on the glue at the bottom. You've still got the height, but you will lose some of the width. So just various options and considerations. Okay, that's quite a nice clean base, isn't it, really, to, to work on? So really, all I'm going to be doing is some collage. So journal aside grab out my glue pages and my glue stick and let's grab some papers I'm primarily going to be working with with forest threads sorry I seem to be a bit tongue-tied at the moment or something tripping over my words and I've got a few scraps here so I thought well I'll just start with this little scrap that's on my desk because why not um, now I do actually want to wrap these around onto the reverse side just taking the corner out so that we get a nice result on the corners and then we'll be putting some other paper on the back I think a nice long strip of this would be quite lovely just these papers are so pretty right maybe we'll go there okay it's quite long it's I think too long for my glue pages so I'll just do it on the base here so how are you today my friends are you having a good day I do hope it is a good day for you I'm having a oh there's no glue on the top there we'll fix that in a moment I can feel there's no glue on it more get more a bit more something something there yeah my day is going quite quite well I've been busy recording videos and bits and pieces I did go down a bit of a YouTube rabbit hole earlier um, just I had a few minutes and I thought well I don't want to start watching a crafting video because I'll have to stop it and do what I need to and you know sometimes I forget to go back to a video if I've stopped it in the middle not always but sometimes I forget and I thought no I'll just and on my playlist there was a suggestion of um, I think it was a UK video of two people testing the taste between New Zealand and Australia chocolate so New Zealand chocolate was Whitaker's and Australia chocolate was Cadbury's. And I thought, oh well, that, that sounds interesting. I'll put that on. It was reasonably long. It was 20-something minutes, I think. So it was a bit longer than I thought it would be for that type of thing. But anyway, I found it quite interesting. And I finished that up and it was like, come up in my suggested feed. There was Irish testing New Zealand chocolate giving it a taste test and I was like it was shorter um, like 16 minutes or something and I thought oh well why not we'll give that a watch and that was quite entertaining as well um, yeah so just a bit of a YouTube rabbit hole really I'm just like it was, I needed to get on and do this video but I was being entertained by people eating chocolate and no I haven't had any chocolate since I watched the video <laughs> I've been a good girl. So yeah, anyway, that was my YouTube rabbit hole. It's very easy to get sucked in, isn't it? And sort of end up following 
following the white rabbit down the hole to Wonderland. It was quite interesting though, the Irish, um, some of the reviewers, I think there were six of them, um, were saying how the packaging of the Whitaker's chocolate is very Willy Wonka-esque. So Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory kind of vibes. And I thought, hmm, yeah, I could see that. Um, Whitaker's is the chocolate that we prefer here in our house. It used to be Cadbury until Cadbury changed their recipe. And then a lot of New Zealanders abandoned Cadbury at that point. They changed cocoa butter for palm oil. And you know, there's a lot of lot of information around about palm oil and the negative impacts of that. Uh, sustainability, um, ecologically, and also the effect on the people of those countries. You know, they... They're not getting the benefit of that. For some reason, I'm not gluing properly. I wonder if my glue stick is originally was good, but is now not so good. I wonder. Uh, yeah, so anyway, a lot of people, and you can taste the difference. So a lot of people here in New Zealand abandoned Cadbury, and Whitaker's took over as the most favoured brand in the country. And it is a much better, fuller flavour chocolate. Um, that just, yeah, it's just, it's good chocolate. If you don't believe me, if you've never tried Whitaker's, New Zealand Whitaker's chocolate, you should try it. There you go, there's my wee recommendation. Try our chocolate. It's um, endorsed by Nigella Lawson, the cook. I think she's a cook as opposed to a chef. I don't know if she's formally trained as a chef or not, but you probably all know who I mean. She's got cookbooks out and does TV programs and things like that. Right, let's just tear a piece off and then see how much we want. I'm just choosing random bits. Pretty papers. Pretty papers are going to make a pretty writing board. Don't know that I want to lose that at the bottom, do I? Maybe it's fine. We'll try tearing off that white bit at the top. That went not too bad. I'm thinking maybe we'll put a bit of that up the top. What am I doing? Don't know. Um, bit, bit under pressure this week and my mind is not cooperating so much. I've been really dithering about what I wanted to do on videos and kind of at last minute coming up with something. I knew I wanted to do this masterboard. And so when I was fluffing around trying to decide what to do in this video, it was like, well, I need to do a writing board. Let's just do that and see where we go. If we get it done, we can move on and do one of the other projects. Or if we use up our time on this, well, that's all fine too. You know, some days it's just just hard to kind of get cracking. See, we've got nice, nicely wrapped corners now. I don't know if you how well you can see that, but they're all nicely wrapped. And do we want to pop this down there? I think I will. It's a printable. I can print it again, and we've still got all this piece to enjoy that be beautiful bottom decoration. So I shouldn't worry about losing it over the edge. And it's not going to be lost. It will still be seen. Just upside down. Oops, come on. So definite direction here. I'm putting everything in the same alignment vertically.
Right, we want to put another little piece of this on the side here. Maybe the bit with the flowers at the top, that might be quite nice. Yeah, not too sticky yet. Just taking a bit more care and making sure I get an adequate amount of glue on the paper now because I think I was really just being a bit relaxed in my gluing. I wasn't making sure I was getting it nicely covered. Okay bit of something else. What do we, we want a bit of brown. It could be a nice little contrast. I'm just cutting this white bit off because I'm not trusting myself to make a good job with the tearing with the ruler because I find I don't give as much attention on camera to tearing it with the ruler and it never works as well as what it does when I'm doing it off camera. So I thought I'll just save us all the the hassle and just do it with scissors to start with. don't think I want to go all the way up with this I want to put some other piece at the top so we'll just do that much I'm not sure yet what we'll use to do the top bit if we find something we've got plenty of papers to work with lots of options in both of the kits the forest threads which this one is and the woodland wanderings both have wonderful pages to work with not straight but I am not concerned about anything being straight I want it visually interesting and sometimes that means not straight but I'm not trying not to make it straight either it's just whatever it is is fine I'm just looking at this page if I can grab it out isn't that pretty look at all those embroidered trees they are so amazing that would take a very long time to do by hand. Well, it would for me anyway. I love cross stitch and I can do cross stitch in reasonable time, but embroidery, whole different ball game. I used to do embroidery. Um, my aunt gave me an embroidery to do when I was quite young. Um, I'm trying to think how old I would have been. I'm pretty sure Dad was still alive. He passed when I was 12, so it was pre-12. I was quite young. Um, and she gave me an embroidery to do, and it was very complex and nothing I had ever done before. A lot of stem stitch, you know, quite a basic stitch, which I was okay with. I managed okay with that. But it also had a lot of French knots. And I discovered very quickly I am not a fan of doing French knots. I found them really, really difficult to do. I'm okay at them now, but I still avoid them because I just don't enjoy doing them. I love the effect. I love the look and the texture. I just, I just don't get on with them. I, I struggle to do them. I guess if I practiced, I would perhaps get over that, but... I don't have a lot of cause to do embroidery, you know, full-on embroidery, or a lot of time, if I'm honest. You know, I love doing the occasional slow-stitched cover. But once I start doing it, I just want to get it done, and I love doing it, so I do it, and then I don't, you know, get it done. Then I don't do it again for quite a while. Also, my fingers don't exactly like that either, with the old nasty arthritis 
they kind of get a bit sore so after a you know a weekend of doing slow stitch get, doing a cover start to finish my fingers are going you're killing us and then I don't do it for months or years I'm feeling the need to do one again though like it's been a while okay so that's that all covered and you can embellish it if you like uh, but it is purely to slip between pages to make it more easily writing on so imagine this is our writing page slip it in there and it smooths out you know so it's it just makes writing more pleasurable but I do want to cover this wouldn't necessarily need to cover it because this is good writing space it's got some natural foxing on it in fact do I want to cover it I haven't been particularly even with my edges because I was planning on covering it but again it actually looks quite interesting I don't think that matters we could I was thinking another layer would also make this more stiff but I think it's stiff enough actually I think maybe we just put a fussy cut on um, or some sort of decorative bit so I'm delving into woodland wanderings for a start and see what we might find just to give it a little something there's a beautiful butterfly oh I've got two there I've got a cricket or a butterfly I quite like the butterfly with the orange it brings a bit more color in there and then this can be writing space now a purpose of a writing board is not to actually write on the board but I think why not why not use it as an additional essentially journaling card so I'm gonna put that there I think um, do I want to ink around it I don't think it's necessary so no I'm not going to it's already got this um, edge around it in the digital so we'll just go with that so get this on we'll pop it in its home and make sure it fits because if it doesn't fit and we have to trim down then we've got to recover some of the edges which would be a real pain actually but doable I think it's time I changed out my glue page it was quite hard to peel up off the page here we go pop that there and it's just got a little decoration on the back right before I forget it's gonna do that with the glue page okay So in the back here, so there's a bit of lace. Please fit, please fit, please fit. And yes, it does. Brilliant. How fun. Doesn't it look pretty? I just, oh, I love the aesthetic. I think it's really, really cool. Okay, so how are we doing on time? We have heaps of time. Heaps and heaps. Okay. That's going to take a bit more for me to think about what I want for that page. I know kind of what I want, but not how I'm going to do it yet. So we'll leave that. Right, this page, I did pretty sure I did this on camera, just folding a piece of the digital into quarters. And I want a sideways belly band to put it in. So on this page, I want a sideways so it goes this way and this will tuck in like so. Do I want to do a masterboard that would involve more collaging? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just, I'm re looking at this and thinking there's a lot of lovely contrast there between this brown, the Edith Holden page, and then that will show up really nicely. Okay, plan is forming. 
so we want how wide we want five and a half inches basically so I'm going to trim off the white with the guillotine this time oops paper's a little bit curly so it's giving me trouble trying to get it straight in the guillotine okay so let's go five and a half inches Oh, we've only got five here, so let's see what is that about five and a half? No, that's more than five and a half. Oops. Probably err on the shorter width, narrow width, to make sure it does fit on the page. I'm going to go there actually because our piece is not very wide. Right, now we can chop off the white here. And we might as well do the bottom as well. Right, how deep would I like? Do I want to fold it in half? That would strengthen it. No, I think I want to layer it up with something like book page instead. So, just arbitrary measurement. Didn't actually measure it, I just eyeballed and chopped. So, we're going on this page. Yep, happy with that width. I think that's going to look really cool. That in behind. Perfect, yes. Okay. Let's choose out some sort of book page or something. Is that wide enough? No, that's not wide enough. I'm seriously lacking book page variety in my bag of scraps. Is that? No, that's not wide enough either. Um, maybe a gardening book. Yes, that will be wide enough. Okay, we found something. Yahoo! Right, have we got room within the text? Yes, we do. Awesome. Actually, I think this might fit in the gullet. Um, almost, but we can trim some off to make it fit. Oh! Ah, I thought this was an image of kohlrabi it's not it's brussels sprouts which i love love brussels sprouts but kohlrabi have you ever had kohlrabi i've only had it once um well multiple times but only at one point in history because we went to this market garden place to buy some vegetables and they had kohlrabi and it's the first and only time. And they gave us a little bag of it. And they were little kohlrabis. They were really young and tender and beautiful. I love them. And I've never found them like that again. You do see them in the supermarkets. But they're huge. Like they're monsters. Like you would buy one. Not a bag of several small baby tender, juicy, crunchy, yum. Um, and... Yeah, I only ever see big ones that I think would not be the same yummy experience, I don't think. So I've never bought a large one because I'm like, hmm, not sure you would be as yummy as my memories are of eating kohlrabi. So anyway, I had to research when we were given the bag. I had to research like 
how do you cook it what do you do with it and it's very easy it's just like any other vegetable really steam it it was so good so we've just got a little peep of the book page around as a border um, so very very minimal but just gives it one sturdiness it helps make this a bit stronger and thicker um, and it gives that little border which I am going to I'm just trying to uncover my ink pad here uh, gives a little bit more depth and interest I would have liked text to go all the way to the edges but it doesn't and it's fine it's not a biggie it's not not something I would redo just because of that because it's just simply a more strengthener than anything else I do apologize if the light flickering is bothering you I'm just noticing one of my lights is playing up just randomly decided to start flickering I can tell you it's very annoying and distracting to me I hope it's not affecting any of you guys seems to have settled down again fortunately it's a very cheap light and so I'm I'm wondering how long it's actually going to last it might might die one day and it was super cheap it was like $16 or something it was not expensive right so I want to glue this bit I'm not going to ink around this bit I don't think it's going to overly show super much that's good wording isn't it super much Right, give it a good coating of glue yeah I think this glue stick is really good but does require a good coating like you can't skimp on it as much as perhaps I might with my other favorite glue sticks um, we don't have to be as careful about making sure it's got a good coating but I think any glue stick it does pay to get as good a you know to be generous shall we say with the glue I didn't get that quite centered but <coughs> excuse me I've got a tickle in my throat I think I need a drink my cup of tea is almost cold yeah okay that's rather cute we might I think I can get rid of the post-it note now we might add some I think I probably will add something to it as much as I like it as is we'll put a little something there either an image or a label or something <coughs> oh please excuse me it's tickle is so annoying oops sliding on the glue right not going to slide our piece underneath until the glue's dry because otherwise it might pop up I'm thinking about one of my my hand stamped labels no oops dropping labels here the little map one that's actually quite a nice contrast and it kind of plays into the tones of that quite like that one okay let's not keep going through the container looking for a better option but also wondering about some other sort of something avalanche that was avalanche happening that's why I was absent for a few moments because I was trying to pull something off the shelf and it was all coming with it like something like this might be quite nice it's a little stamped faux pa postage stamp with a B on it 
on coffee dyed paper. Yep, let's do that. I'm just going to put them on. Actually, I'm wondering, do I want a little bit of texture? Like a bit of cheesecloth or something. Um, let's just have a wee look. Oh, there's this brown fabric. Let's take a wee strip. Oops, it's all sort of creased and curled up. No. Don't like it. Cheesecloth. We might as well try it. We've got got the cheesecloth here. Just trying to find a single layer. There we go. Just chop a bit off. Do random sort of shape. Oh, I love, 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 love. I love that. Okay, do I want to, will tacky glue be okay? I think it might. We're just going to put glue on this piece and let it attach the cheesecloth for us. Hopefully. Let's give it a good press down. Let that glue seep through. I will check it later and if it hasn't worked I'll go back in with um, my fabric glue. But I'm thinking this should be adequate. And I just like those bits just floating around. I don't mind that. It'll you know do what it wants can fold on itself or fray or whatever i just think that's that's fun okay i think that's good we seems to be working really nicely so we can pop this in here and call that page done awesome we could put another tag or something in there um there are some tags in the kit let's have a wee look We do have space inside this belly band. So we like that one. I think this one might be a good contrast. I like that one. Okay, let's back it because it's only on photocopy paper. Move the journal out the way. Let's back this. What do we want to back it with? Um, I'm almost tempted to collage it. Let's see what I've got. Bit of that. Just digging through my Here's some more lined paper, a different one. Oh, that's a tiny scrap. There, we should have enough to work with. Right, really like this. It's really lovely, dark and grungy. This is a bit of stenciled coffee dyed. Um, funny shape. So 
maybe we'll just straighten that up a bit that's still usable for something though right let's start with this little bit because we may as well use it up oh you haven't got much glue left on this glue stick it is only a small one Right, and I'm letting it hang over the sides and then I will trim it around just to make sure it gets nice and good coverage right to the edges. Whoops, that looks like I didn't put it on straight. That would be about normal and doesn't bother me. Put a bit of that there, I think so. being very vigorous with the glue. How do I want the notes and thoughts heading? Probably not. Kind of just interrupts the writing space, doesn't it? So we'll get rid of that little bit. There. Oh, quite like the speckling texture there. So we might use the other side. keep an eye on the time we've we've actually got plenty of time I need to be out in just under an hour so I've got heaps of time more time than you'll want to be watching this video anyway so it should be all good oops we're sticking to the mat because of all that glue I've put on the edges so let's tidy it up a bit Certainly plenty of glue on those little scrappy bits. Technically I should be putting them in my collage phone book, but I'm not going to stop and worry about it. I'm just going to put them in the bin. Whoops, a little bit into the tag there. Now I've got a little slight divot out of one side okay will this fit at the top here I do believe it will trim that bit off because that's a really nice bit to use somewhere else I've got right to the top and I have which is good sticky I'm going to have to clean my scissors come on get in there I don't like cutting with bits stuck to my scissors. They get in the way. I can't see what I'm doing. And it's just really annoying. So I have to stop and clear off those bits off my scissors. 
Otherwise, it's just not fun for me. Okay, I'm just going to give that a good press now. Make sure everything's stuck nicely. I see I've got a little bit of white from when I cut out the digital. So I am going to ink around it just to fix any spots like that. Don't need to give it a super heavy ink, just a light brush all the way around. And then around the back as well. It will firm up a bit as it dries, it's still quite flexible. Okay, how do we want to decorate it, my friends? I feel like I kind of want to put something on it. Actually, I wonder that bit of fabric we had, the larger piece, since it tore a bit off. It's a bit of kind of like a leopardish print. Don't like it there. This one's actually got diamonds, but it's a very subtle two tone brown. Just getting rid of some of those strings uh, pattern finish what I was saying is that going to be a pain going in and out of the belly band I don't think it should be but what else do we want with it if we go in that direction Let's go back to Woodland Wanderings and pull out the Fussy Cuts. Would be a good place for something big like this deer, wouldn't it? Do we want to use the fabric? It's not driving, so let's just put the fabric aside. It was a thought. But I'm rejecting the thought. Um, just looking at whether I want to pair something else with our friend the deer. Specimen notes. This is slightly reddier, which I feel plays into the red flowers on there a little bit better. I think I might go with that. Um, do I want a book page or something? Probably. You know I do. Let's go back to this bit that was too narrow for the last thing we wanted it for. dyed pattern paper it covers up a lot of the tag the pattern on the tag but I feel like we still have plenty to appreciate the pattern so yes we're going to do that just need to uncover my glue book yet again right Oops, I grabbed out two pages. Let's discard the gluey one and just use the good one. Yep, that side. Let's 
sewing pattern or a knitting, knitting pattern? I think it's knitting. Just try and get it straight. Okay. A little bit of ink around this. More so just to take off the white that I can see. don't think I'm going to put a topper on this one. Um, if I was going to put a topper, I wouldn't put the classified up there because it would interfere with a topper. Okay, I do want to ink around the deer. Yeah, majestic forest friend. I think I'm going to lay him down to get in around his antlers. So a question for those of you who follow Gail Agostinelli and will know that she calls antennae antlers, so like a bee or a fly or something with antennae, she'll call them antlers, which I think is just so cute and often pops into my brain when I think of anything like that. I think of Gail's antlers. So my question is, does Gail call antlers on like a deer does she call them antennae i bet she doesn't but just like random funny in my brain that's what i was thinking so i was kind of sharing what i was thinking i do love my friend gail she is a beautiful part of my everyday she makes me smile so much and laugh often right and I know a lot of you out there will also love Gail. That's why she's got the number of followers that she does. Number of subscribers. One day, maybe. One day I might. I, I daren't even think that I would get to that level. Um, have that many subscribers. I can't even begin to imagine having that many subscribers. But never say never. And by the way, if you watch my channel and you watch more than one video, if you watch an occasional video even, and you're not subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. I would really love it. And say hi. If you've never said hi to me before and you've watched more than one of my videos, or even if you're just watching the first one ever that you've seen, say hi. I'd love to get to know you. Love to say hi back. I always respond to every comment. Uh, lately I've been a bit late on responding and I don't always get to them the same day, but I still respond. This depends on what's happening in the rest of my day or week. It's um, been very busy lately, so sometimes it might be a couple of days before I respond, but I always do. And not just with the standard thanks. <laughs> you know, I try and, and say something relevant back. Or even if it is just thank you that I call you by your name where I know it. If I don't know your name, if it's a YouTube handle or something, I'll probably not use your name because I am not. I don't know it. But if I know your name, I will use your name. There we go. That's that tag. Okay. And in she goes, or he, that's a he. And that page is done. So we've got two pages complete. I think that is a win-win. And it's probably about time to wrap up this video. Um, so I've done a few bits like decorating up the paper bag just to make it writable and cover over like the seam and the pharmacy text that was on the side. Um, I've still got a lot to do. I made this recently, um, probably the day before this video airs actually. That's a Roxy's Weekly Challenge thing. 
um yeah so it's still still quite a bit of work to do i want to do a fabric flip i need to get out my sewing machine uh, this piece that i made i've shifted where i've put it i've made these pockets here on patreon and i've got a little tag in the bottom pocket and this i've switched from being in here to being in here this one needs a full size piece um, i found that the other piece was too short and it was falling out so i need a, a full size piece to tuck into those tuck spots so little bits and pieces have been done but certainly a long way i've still got to fill this pocket um, long way to go before it's finished so thanks for joining me my friends i hope you enjoy watching this journal slowly grow it's, it's getting rounder um, which is super fun i'll catch you again in the next video have a great day bye for now